Whose birthday is it? Shorty's. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Cook the Book. I'm Jen. This is my childhood perm, and we're going to make some cake. Today, we are going to make the Go Shorty It's a Birthday Cake. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Um, the ingredients are we need two cups of flour. Greenless sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and one thing I don't have is is buttermilk. I'm going to refer to my trusty internet here. We'll just go with this first result because because why not? So for each cup of buttermilk, you use one tablespoon of white vinegar or lemon juice plus enough milk to measure out to one cup. Let it sit for five minutes. So I've got. Lemon juice, we're gonna use that. We're gonna go with lemon juice. Well, I'm a big fat liar. I don't have lemon juice, I had lime juice, so. I also have white vinegar. So we're gonna use a tablespoon of that, put that in there first, and then we're gonna fill this with milk, let it sit five minutes while we get the rest of our ingredients together. So the first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you take your two nine inch uh, round pans and butter them and flour them. So I'm gonna take a paper towel here and I'm gonna use some Crisco because uh, I mean I have more Crisco than I do butter. So I'm just gonna take a lump of it and you just want to rub it in a thin layer. You're just gonna grease your pan. And if you don't have paper towels or you want to get messy, you can use your hands for this. Nobody will judge you. This is a judgment-free zone. Now that that is greased up, take some of this flour here and you're gonna knock it around your pan. I'm gonna knock it over this one. You want to get the edges. And whatever's extra, you wanna pour back in, but. So, there you go. We're gonna do the next pan real quick and then we will start our batter. Now in the bowl of your stand mixer, um, fit it with the paddle attachment. In the bowl of this, we're gonna mix together basically all of our dry ingredients. And you can't see what I got here, but I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, so we need to put the two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, three quarter cups of cocoa powder, all right, and then we are putting in two teaspoons of baking powder, I know watching me measure stuff is riveting entertainment. We are going to put in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Then half a teaspoon of our salt. And then we just whisk it all together so it's a uniform. And it smells like chocolate already. Very excited about this cake. Does that look uniform to you? Nope, nope, there's still, nope. Not yet. How about, how about now? Yeah. That looks good. Now we add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. That is our buttermilk mixture here, our buttermilk, one cup of that, a half a cup of oil, and then three eggs. I crack my eggs into a bowl, that way if you get shells in there, you can see them and pick them out, and uh, you don't end up with eggshell in your cake batter. All right, all right, it's like I've done that before. I'm just gonna add my uh, two teaspoons of vanilla to my eggs. Okay, so now we'll pour this in here. And it says to mix it um, on medium speed until combined, and then we're gonna reduce it to low and add one cup 
of boiling water, which I have made in my kettle here. This is really close up, sorry. One cup of boiling water. All right, now that that is all done, it seems very runny, but it is probably because I'm just used to using box cake mix. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm sure the sides are all screwed down. Um, evenly between the two pans. All right, put them in the oven and let them bake for 30 to 35 minutes, rotating them uh, halfway through, so after about 15 minutes, and rotate them to make sure they bake evenly. Oh, sorry. To make sure they bake evenly, and then when a toothpick insert it into the center of the cake comes out clean, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and let those bake and see, uh, see what they look like when they come out. All right, so my dishwasher's running. Apologize for any noise. But making this cake is messy, so. Um, okay, so now we're gonna make the the frosting. Um, we need to have three sticks of butter. Um, now it does say in this recipe to uh, use a handheld electric mixer to cream the butter and the cocoa together. I am gonna use my stand mixer because I have burnt out at least three different hand mixers trying to make buttercream in the past. So I'd rather not take the risk. First we take our three sticks of butter here and this is one cup of cocoa powder. Put that in there. Start it on low. That way uh, cocoa powder doesn't go everywhere. And I mean it kind of did go everywhere but it could have it could have been a lot worse. So that is blended all together. Scrape down the paddle attachment, as well as the sides of the bowl. See, look, it's nice and it looks like fudgy, kind of, it's very thick. Uh, do not try this right now. It may look like it's gonna be super good. It's not. It's seriously unsweetened cocoa and butter. It smells very delicious, but it's gonna be super disgusting. Um, now we need to add the confectioner sugar, which is five cups of it. Um, and the milk and vanilla. So half a cup of milk and one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, I'm going to put this back up here. I'm gonna add the milk and the vanilla and probably two cups of the confectioner sugar before I start to mix it. And then as it's incorporated, add each additional cup so it doesn't end up flying out everywhere. Cup on that side. And a cup on that side. And start it on slow, just stir. It says to do this next part on high, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on high and not subject you guys to having to listen to the mixer on high. Our frosting is done. We're gonna set it out of the way for now and then we're going to assemble our cake. Ready for this one is just Flip it right onto the plate there. Maybe. Let's see here. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that'll work too. That works too. Um, yeah, it doesn't say to uh, cut your layer to make it even, but I'm going to. Here's a fun fact about me. I actually was a grocery store cake decorator for five years. Decorator, not baker only decorator so if this cake turns out bad um i'm i'm gonna blame snoop dog and not me just run your your knife across here and uh make it even okay and now i'm gonna take a little bit of this icing dollop of it on there and with offset spatula 
work it towards the outside. Try to not get any of those crumbs in there. And make it as even as possible. And now we are going to take our next layer here. Oh, why didn't I put parchment on the bottom of this thing? Oh, there it is. Good, beautiful. And we're gonna do flat side down on this one. In the top, because the only reason I took the dome off the bottom layer was to make sure the cake didn't slide anywhere. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful. If you look at the cake in the picture back here, it's also got a dome on it. So we're gonna leave the dome on it. So now we're gonna take some more of our frosting here and put a couple big dollops on the top. I know you're thinking that looks like a lot, but we're gonna run it down the sides. So it's really not that much. Cause it's not all staying on top. All right, so take it and kind of smooth it down the sides a little bit. You just wanna cover the sides. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always go back around and Clean that up later. Okay, so you're gonna continue this all the way around the cake. Um, if you need more icing, draw, put a big old dollop on top and bring it down to the sides. Now, this looks good. It looks very close to the picture, except for I've got to clean up around the bottom of the plate here and add sprinkles. But being someone who did decorate cakes for as long as I did, I can't, I can't leave it like this. So I'm going to uh, we're gonna comb the sides a little bit here, make it nice and smooth. And bring the top in. And the top doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to put the sprinkles on it. But I couldn't leave it messy. So, got my piping bag here. I'm a number 22 piping tip. And we're just going to put a little top and bottom border on this bad boy. I do have a friend. Her channel is dedicated to teaching people how to decorate cakes. Uh, I will link her in the description. So just quick border, top, bottom, and then chocolate sprinkles. I'm just using these ice cream sprinkles here. And there you go. Beautiful chocolate cake. Okay, now let's see what everybody thinks of it. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's good. The sprinkles are amazing. The sprinkles are not amazing. The frosting is really good. It's nice and fluffy. Real good. What do you like the most about it? I think I like always the icing. Just grab the taste. Mm -hmm. You just grab the taste. It's light and fluffy and chocolatey. It's very chocolatey. It's really good. And very yummy. I think it's really good. Did you make the frosting too? Yes, why would I not make the frosting? I don't know. Whose birthday is it? Shorties. Go show it's your birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 that good.